Hello everyone. This is Shrikanth. Welcome to our new channel of Basic Mechanical Engineering. In this introductory video lecture, we are going to discuss the syllabus of mechanical engineering and the interesting facts in the mechanical engineering subjects. So we start with what is machine. Machine is anything which performs a task, prescribe work, or which transfers the energy. Very simple definition of machine. That is. Performs a specific or prescribed task. So here in this animation, we can easily get to know about what is machine. So that is uh, this hand pump animation. It simply defines the machine definition, which performs a specific task. So we'll start with the basic fundamentals of mechanical engineering, which we are going to learn in throughout next video series of this channel. So any machine consists of some parts which we call as a machine elements, basic machine element. So we are going to discuss ball bearing and this gear. So on right side you can see there are two tooth wheels are moving. The teeth are called as gear teeth. This animation is of gears, driver and driven. So this is used for transmitting some power. So you might have seen such kind of gears in watches or maybe in automobiles. Second part is ball bearing on left side. This ball bearing you might have seen in bicycles. It reduces the friction. So this, these are the very basic elements of mechanical engineering which we are going to discuss in the first unit, introduction to mechanical engineering. Next part is again chain and the belt drives. This chain drive is very simple. A bicycle, motorcycles uses this for the power transmission purpose. Whereas the bell drives you might have seen in floor mills, maybe in automobiles or in some machine parts, these combinations of bell drives are seen. The applications of bell drives are in day to day life are enormous. Next is a brakes. Brakes are the machine elements you can say where the function of this brakes are to stop or to slow down some moving object or moving machine elements. So basically technically we call brakes are used to stop or to slow down the motion of the object. So topmost you can see it's a drum brakes, force applied on the cylinder, the pressurized fluid is used to stop the moving drum or wheel. Whereas this bottom most diagram is a disc brake which is very common in automobiles. So when this pressurized fluid push this part on the rotor disc, so because of friction that rotating disc stops and which we call as a working of disc brake. So we will be discussing this part, brakes and their types. So disc brakes are very common in automobiles and motorcycles. Then very important basic part of mechanical engineering is selection of a material. So from this diagram, you may think the nut bolt or this cutter or the knife, all these blades or the cutters, they are made up of same material as a steel. It looks like a steel, but actually they are not of same kind of material because the strength required for nut bolt and the knife is absolutely different. So we'll be discussing what is the difference between the material of nut bolt and material for this blades. Same again, the material as a plastic, it looks plastic for water bottles as well as telephone or maybe this toys or maybe plastic switch. Whether they are of same material, the answer is no, absolutely no. Because even the strength required for the plastic at the switch and the water bottle is different. So we'll be discussing the properties of material which property makes it useful for respective application. Now, once you know some material property, the manufacturing of object. So here is one diagram, a sprite can, how it is manufactured from a thin sheet metal. So we'll be dealing with this manufacturing process. Second diagram is a casting. Casting is what? Pouring because this is a, a real life problem 
we form normally there are in a day to day life you see this a liquid part is poured into some mold to form a desired shape so that is also very common so we form a mold and on that mold we pour a liquid metal or desired materials are poured allows to solidify and then we again break that mold so we get a desired object that's the manufacturing process comes into the sand casting part again same manufacturing this top left diagram a spring is rolling and so formation and how we make a spring helical because of the shape it's a very common spring you might have seen hot working so at a high temperature this spring we are making it's called as hot forging or hot working so how the springs are made so we'll be discussing this part comes into the category of manufacturing process same this diagram is arc welding welding is for joining the two metals together so this is will be dealing in the unit number 4 next again machining part how we machine different components so drilling hole very simple so creating a cylindrical hole by using a drill bit that's a drilling here you can see by using a water pressure they are cutting a apple so yes water can be used water pressure can be used to cut even a hard metal sheet also so sheet metal working this diagram right side where they are forming some shape on the straight plate that is sheet metal working by using high pressures dies so we'll be dealing with this part of machining in unit number 4 the next is very interesting part that is engine four stroke engine you might have seen kind of diagram in tv on ads of castrol oil they are using some kind of piston cylinder moving object so we'll be discussing this part in unit number 2 as of material as well as the working of engine in unit number 6 so how this engine works so that is our part of unit number 6 four stroke petrol engine four stroke diesel engine so that is very interesting and real life based so we'll enjoy this part next power generation so on the right you can see a simple thermodynamic process that is a isobaric process is explained so on a container with a constant they have having some particular mass and at a pressure constant pressure temperature changes you can see with respect to this v parameter on this tv diagram so that is a, a simple isobaric process at constant pressure temperatures and this volume they are in the proportions same how power is generated by using a solar power plant so we'll be dealing with the different power is generated by using a different sources available so this diagram indicates a solar power generation solar energy is utilized to convert water into steam and that steam is utilized to generate the electricity the last very interesting very important part of unit number 6 is power producing and power absorbing device so this conditioner normally term as ac and this pump is a power absorbing device means they absorb a power to do some work so as we know ac it provides cool temperature so basically the meaning of air conditioner is conditioning the air so maintaining the quality of air that is a function of ac air conditioner so in this image you can get to know we are getting cooled air like this they absorb or they just suck the hot air from a room and they provide cooled air by controlling all this quality of air in a confined space that is a function of ac that is air conditioner whereas how this pump work so you can see this is based on a centrifugal force so it is called as a centrifugal pump because of centrifugal action at the blade this water get lifted up and that is the basic function and you can say working of the centrifugal this is whole introductory syllabus overall idea for basic mechanical engineering i hope you guys like this video 
if you like please share it and comment thank you so much